So what's the deal with gluten? You probably know that gluten is bad for some people. You've probably seen gluten-free options popping up in restaurants or grocery stores or bakeries. But why is this? Is gluten bad for you? The concerns about gluten started with celiac disease. Celiac disease is an autoimmune condition that's triggered by the ingestion of gluten. Even a small amount of gluten, as little as 50 milligrams a day, will trigger an autoimmune reaction and cause damage to your small intestine. So let's back up a second. What is gluten? It's basically a protein. It's found in wheat, rye, and barley, which means that it's in a lot of things. Bread, pasta, cereal, beer, and in people with celiac disease, they have abnormal immune cells. When they see gluten, they freak out and trigger an immune reaction that makes antibodies and immune cells that attack gluten and cause a lot of inflammation. This inflammation damages the lining of the intestine and it prevents them from absorbing nutrients properly. This leads to diarrhea, abdominal pain, weight loss, iron deficiency, anemia, vitamin D deficiency. If the inflammation persists, it can actually increase your risk of getting cancer of the small intestine over time. What's interesting though, is in the vast majority of celiac patients, about 98% of them or so, you can completely control the disease without any medications just by not eating any gluten, which is good because right now there aren't any medications that can control Control celiac disease. Keeping a gluten-free diet allows their intestines to heal up and allows them to start absorbing nutrients properly again. The diarrhea will go away, they'll gain weight, they'll absorb iron, everything will be better. But are there people without celiac disease who should still avoid gluten? There is a disease called non-celiac gluten sensitivity, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. These people still have a reaction to gluten that causes some of the similar symptoms like diarrhea or abdominal pain, but they do not have celiac disease. So if we test those patients for celiac disease by looking for the antibodies that are created or looking at a small sample of the small intestine, everything will look normal. But if these patients stop eating gluten, their symptoms are going to get better. Patients with non-celiac gluten sensitivity do not have the same risk of vitamin deficiencies or cancer or iron deficiency, but they should still stick to a gluten-free diet to avoid symptoms. It's also possible to have a wheat allergy, which is completely different. That's more like if you had a peanut allergy, where eating wheat can cause swelling or trouble breathing. For the vast majority of people though, eating gluten is fine. If you notice that you get significant symptoms like diarrhea or abdominal pain after eating gluten, consider talking to your doctor to get tested for celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Good luck. Hmm.